Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 82. We're with uh, West Brom, our third club in this save, and we are at season's end. So after uh, Man United and then the drubbing of Crystal Palace, we beat Stoke 4-2. Danny Olmo scored on a penalty. Lane Kumpang scored twice in two minutes on set pieces. And Hassan Bazdag scored again. Uh, we did give up a brace to Megram Barisha, uh, but we did win. And then Burnley beat us 2-0. We just did not look good. Arsenal killed us 4-0. Sebastian Strobel, our big midfielder, was sent off in the 44th minute. Two yellow cards. And then Will Clark scored a 16-minute four-goal extravaganza, including two penalty kicks. <laughs> so that sucked. We did then manage to hold Man City to a nil-nil draw. That was aces. Really good performance in that game. And we are back, season finale. So after the two wins, we had climbed back up into seventh position. We were back in Europe, Europe qualifying range. And, well, we haven't gotten the points. We've gotten one point out of six. So we are sitting on 50 points, a zero goal differential. Southampton is plus one goal differential, and Everton is three points up with two to play. So we basically need to win both of these, I'm pretty sure. Everton finishes off with Tottenham, which is second. Well, they've got a, they've got a tough run in. Okay, so they've got a really tough run in. Southampton... They finish off with Aston and Burnley. Not very hard, but Burnley just beat us, so it's possible. But we are even with them, right? We're even with Southampton. So, again, we are going in with uh, Huddersfield, who is 16th, Aston Villa 14th. I think we've got to take both matches, boys, to get to get six points. And if we do, we finish on 56. Now, all Everton needs is a win. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I don't think we're going to qualify, but it's going to be, you know, we're going to make decent money again this year. If we take a look at finances, uh, we ended up losing uh, almost $2 million again this past month. Uh, in uh, August, or, or I'm sorry, March. Right now we're two million up, but we end up almost two million down every mo every month. So you know, there's something that pops up late in the month that causes that. But four million down. If we lose another four million, well, actually this will be the last month. So we ought to end up somewhere around 180 million at the end of. At the end here, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, we are on the road. We're pretty heavily favored. There's a slight drizzle. Uh, I want to go with that. Actually, I am going to tweak this a little bit. Okay. Melindo. You're going to be that. And you're. Going to do that. Yeah, you've got 16 passing. I like that. I'm going to move you. No, we're going to put you as a winger support. 
have overlap here. And we'll go double attack on this side because we have support here. All right, let's go with that. Uh, let's see, quick pick. All right, Danny Olmo, Chikwuma. Yep, there we are. Andy Vernon lacking in match sharpness. More of a standard 4-4-2 than what I normally play, but that's okay. I've tweaked it a little bit. I don't know why I tweaked it because I really don't know what I'm doing with that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's give them some greenness if we can. I've got the faith. Give them some juice. All right. Come on, boys. Uh, West Brom stats. Tottenham's beating Everton. That's good. All right. Caputo throws it out to Coleman. Coleman to Strobel. One touch over to Kunpang. He holds it up, cuts it inside, plays it across to Ingram, crossed in, one-timer, Danny Olmo, ninth of the season. Get in there, boys. All right, an early goal, early goal. All right, we're going to give him some praise. Come on, fellas. All right, Garcia picks up a yellow. All right, set piece. Kunpang heads it to Olmo. Olmo finds Chikwuma. He lit, lays it off to the outside to Bosdang. Bosdang has a heavy touch. There's a header, Andy Vernon. Third of the season. Yes! 2 0. We're doing our job so far. Knock on wood. Uh, let's see. Oh, Everton's tied it up. Southampton, Aston are tied. Come on. All right, Bentley hoofs it out. All right, headed away. Back outside. What? Williams. Oh, nice save by Caputo. I like these kits. These are probably my favorite West Brom kits that I've seen them in. All right, Garcia controls it up to Nyambi. Square to Vernon. He finds Chikwuma coming back for a pass. The overlap, that was horrible. Chikwuma lays it off to Ingram. Played in. Oh, what a volley by Bosdang. Eighth on the season. Come on, boys. Get in there. All right, how are we doing down here? Eh, Olmo, set piece. All right, Bentley makes the grab. Two minutes for half, stoppage time. See, they do that a lot. That frustrates me. Instead of controlling it, they hit it, and it goes to the other team. Oh, laid off. Oh, placed in there by Adama Dikabi. I think that's right. Dikabi, three to one. George or Jorge? I'm going to say George. 5.8. All right, let's see. Uh, Southampton is losing. Leicester is draw. That's the one that we need, right? Everton is drawing. Ugh. Bummer. Excellent efforts. Avoid a booking. I'm going to come back to positive. Just pull them back a little bit. Ah. Okay. Give him a little bit of praise. All right, let's make a sub. All right, Garcia. Let's bring in uh, Alvarez. Kunpang. 
Strobel, Sinclair. Get both of the yellow cards off. We don't want to risk anything at this point. All right, Nyambi into Chikwuma. Sinclair, Omo, out to Straddle, Strobel. Oh, the keeper flopped it, barely kept it off the line. Bozdog jumps all over it. He's got a brace with his ninth on the season. Excellent job, fellas. Two goals and assist. Nice. All right, Olmo. Ingram. Oh, off the woodwork. Ow. Oh. All right, we're going to go ahead. Uh, Andy Vernon. Let's bring Olmo and mid. Keith Glover. Let's bring him in. Now, can Keith Glover... It's it's the same position, just the opposite side. One would assume you could kind of figure out what to do, right? Bozdog holds it up. Sinclair plays it out to Strobel. Strobel lumps it upfield. A nice header to his own teammate. Wish our guys could figure out how to do that. Sinclair makes the run to get back on defense and intercept that one. Plays it out. Recovered by Huddersfield. All right, Ozier into the box. There's the square in. Oh, my God. Did he just put it in the... Oh, my God, Nyambi. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It was laying on the line, and Nyambi went to go boot it, and it went into the net. That might have been a goal anyway. Yeah, that was that was pretty stupid, fellas. Well, I've already made the third sub because that was horrible. All right, I'm going to go back up to attacking. All right, Nyambi, Olmo, back to Nyambi. Ingram, Bostag! Oh, where's, come on, where's VAR? There it is. Nope. Right on the line. Good hands by the keeper to save that from going in. I've watched hundreds of hours of football manager. I've recorded hundreds of hours of football manager. I've never seen a VAR goal, ever. All right, we've got 30 seconds left. We should be able to hold this off, right? Strobel, Sinclair, Glover, played up, Ch Chikwuma, uh, nice touch, laid off, Ingram, into the box, Danny Olmo, right to the keeper, fair play on you, some good ball movement, blow the whistle, three points for the good guys, all right, let's see, uh, I want to look at the league table, all right, that moves us up into eighth. We're tied with Everton. So we got the win. Everton lost. So that's good. So we're tied. And then Southampton lost as well. So that was the huge one. All right, so they are now three behind us. We control our... I mean, we don't control our own destiny. If Everton wins, it doesn't matter. We'd have to win by 12 goals. That's brutal. <laughs> um, all right. So we're in it. We're in it for, for Europe, man. We're in it. Uh, excellent efforts. All right, boys. We'll be back for the season finale. Uh, we play, who do we play? Aston Villa in eight days. So I will see you back here in a second. Before we get to the last match, we've made a couple of moves. We've got a couple of offers out. Uh, so let's take a look at those. Uh, let's see. We've got a contract offer on him. Uh, all right. We've got a contract offer on him. All right. This is a guy we just signed from Man United. 29 years old. He'll be 30 next season. 
We just paid 25 mil for him, Declan Rice. You probably know who he is. I don't. <laughs> but it says he's one of the world's global superstars. So he is a uh, central defender and a defensive mid that can play Segundo Volante and anchor. So him and Strobel, I could see pairing up in our 4-4-2. That's why I made this move. He is an all-around monster. Monster. Uh, he has played most of his career with West Ham. Uh, Manchester United bought him for $60 million. Uh, He played, what, four starts, ten reserve appearances with uh, two assists last year. And only four appearances this year, one start, three sub appearances. So they ended up selling him. So they bought him for sixty. We're buying him for twenty-five. That's a that's a bargain for me. And he is going to be a stud on our team next season. So he's the big player. Uh, then we've got a couple of young guys. Uh, this guy he has not accepted his contract yet. And let's see, we got two guys on free, so it must be these two. All right, so Sam Abair or Herbert, I'm going to call him Abair because that's how we pronounce it back home. Uh, he's joining at the end of the year. Uh, transfer, we got him on end of contract. Not great. I don't think he'll ever play for us, but he's he's already got solid defending skills. He's you know, he's going to be a championship level player, probably. And uh, this is a guy, we got him on a free. I think we can sell him, make a little bit of money. That's what that was. The other guy is Barry Kelly. Got him from Man United. Again, end of contract free. Uh, central defender. He's not bad. He's already quality, I think, that could step in and do a job for us. Um, he's playing at a, uh, national league, probably championship league, but he could be a three and a half star player. So even if he doesn't improve in the next year or two in our system, of course, if he didn't improve at Man United, maybe he won't, but we got them both for free. So if we can sell them for a few million bucks, boom, uh, and like I said, you know, I don't know what they'll be worth moving forward. Uh, was there, we had a couple, we had a loan and we lost uh, Daniel Palumbo on a free. No big deal there. But uh, Declan Rice, big signing. I am a little older than I usually go for, but I'm pretty excited to have landed him. All right, let's get into the match. So here's where we stand. Everton is playing Chelsea, right, who have already qualified. The, the uh, Champions League has already been resolved. Uh, Manchester City is in the Europa League. Liverpool's going to be in there as well. And I somehow or other, I think Man City's in because they won. I'm recording. This is my third episode today. Just sometimes I have to get ahead on episodes. So I haven't heard your replies yet, but what I'm guessing is they won the FA Cup or something. Uh, let's see, competitions. All right, they won the Club World Cup, the Super Cup, the Carabao Cup. I think by winning one of these, they, they've qualified automatically for Europe. I think that's how that's working. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Um, that's why the seventh position was also qualifying for Europe at a lower level. But we want to finish seventh. That's where, we, you know, if we get seventh, I think we qualify for Europa League. So Everton is playing Chelsea, who honestly has nothing to play for, which is too bad. Um we are playing Aston Villa, and we're underdogs. And then Southampton is playing Burnley. Now, Burnley 
can be relegated. So they've got something to play for. So that's good. So we need Burnley to win. Actually, even if Southampton wins, if we get a point, if we get a point and Everton loses, then we're in. If we win and Everton gets a draw or a loss, we're in. If Everton wins, we're out. We finish eighth or ninth. But let's get to it. I'm excited. I, we've got a shot. We have got a shot. That's huge. All right. Let's get to it. Uh, we are underdogs. We're at home. Um, I'm going to play... Because we're underdogs, I think I'm going to play this. I'm going to bring low on. No, you know what? Screw that. <laughs> Screw that. Um, Olmo, Alvarez. Wing back, attack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I want burning in here. I want to... Uh... You could play defensive mid. I think I want Melindo in there. All right, let's let's bring Melindo on the bench. Right there. Mid right. All right. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. All right. Let's give them the faith talk. All right, we are in the stripes. Okay. All right, this needs to be West Brom. All right, kicked out. At least we cleared it. Reversed field, up back into the attacking zone. Uh-oh, uh-oh, shot wide. <laughs> Breathe. No scores yet. Oh, all right, I need to raise this. There we go. All right, um, Tottenham scored on Leicester. Right, we need them to lose. Southampton's drawing. Okay, if they lose, let's go to table. Let's go to league table. Everton. Oh, it's not Leicester. It's Everton. Damn it. Damn it, Leicester. <laughs> Everton, Everton. Okay, they're playing Chelsea. That's right. All right, Caputo. Coleman. Up to Kunpang, Strobel. Oh, he hoofs it. Bosdag on the run. Square it. Oh, he puts it in the net. Far post. Number 10, boys. Get in there. Oh, he could have laid it off for an open netter. But at least it went in. That's all I'm worried about. Oh, that puts us up in seventh. <laughs> all right, Ingram. Oh, nice little heel pass. Chikwuma finds Sinclair. Oh, he was looking inside. Counters on. Oh, nice tackle. Kunpang, Strobel, Danny Olma, Chikwuma. Oh, off the target, off the mark. All right, let's see. Everton, Everton, Chelsea, West Brom, Southampton. Where's Southampton at? There they are, Burnley. Okay. Come on, boys. 
We control our destiny at this point. Well, if they win, we don't. Uh, right into the back of the defender again. That is crap. All right. Make them, make them nervous. Come on. All right. Niambi. Why are we heading it so much? I need, a, I need an option to turn that shit off. I need an option to control the ball. <laughs> All right. Oh, nice through ball to Ingram. Oh, he tried to find it. There it is. Yes. Bosdag, number 11, a brace. That's brilliant. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Everton's losing. Everton is losing. That's all I'm worried about. Everton is losing. We might qualify for Europe. Shh. <laughs> Don't say anything. All right. Come on. All right. There it is. We got a shot again. Uh, he was looking through for Ingram. Uh, come on. Oh, Ingram gets tackled. Oh, he's looking for a card. All right. Let's tighten up. Don't let don't let an easy one go. See like that. What the what the hell? I mean, I understand that worked out right. Chikwuma has really good ball. Oh, look at the header down. Oh, he was off sides. That was a brilliant header. Yeah, he was, but that was a great ball by Olmo. Oh. All right. We can take that. Lest, oh no, we don't want less. Chelsea's up 2 nothing. Everton falling apart. Oh, that's looking good. Huddersfield is winning. All right, come on, boys. One more half. Well, if we make it to, well, Europe is for next year, right? All right, Everton is down. Oh, it's Southampton. Not Huddersfield. Southampton and Burnley are drawing. All right, come on. All right, Bosdag. Let's bring in uh, Jan Lowe. And, oh my God, let's bring in uh, Melindo. All right, Danny Olmo into the box, headed down. It's there. Yes, Sinclair in the right place. 3-0. Oh, my God. Are we really going to pull this shit off? <laughs> yes. All right, we got a couple of subs. Oh, my goodness. All right, now we're, this is going to be a time waster more than anything else. Uh, defensive left. How about Alvarez, defensive right? He could play on the opposite side, right? Oh, come on, boys. Caputo hoofs it. See, like, why can't we do that? That's what I want to do instead of that kind of shit. Come on. Tighten up. Out of bounds. Yes! Yes, I think we've qualified. We're in seventh. Oh, we end up three points clear. That is crazy. Excellent efforts. Passionate. It helped us secure the win. Oh, Niambi didn't like me kissing his ass. Fuck you then, right? <laughs> and they can demonetize the video because I'm not monetized anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is huge. All right, let's finish the day. Inbox. All right, Tottenham won the Premier League. Look at that. 
Go Tom. Tom eight nil. Oh, that was a pivotal match. I was like, I didn't think they won eight nil today. So they won the Premier League today. Good on them. 90 points, one point above Arsenal. That was close. That was close. Uh, let's see. Just for Tom's sake, let's go in and take a look. Tom is one of my uh, subscribers here. He's my most active commenter, uh, and I very much value his friendship and his uh, participation in my channel. Tom, thank you very much. Uh, he is a big Tottenham Hotspur fan. And uh, so Harry Kane, 20 goals. Sergio Mecca, 20 goals. Only 32 matches, 18 reserves, really. Well, he is 34 in the game now. How's he holding up? Yeah, his pace has disappeared. He's still, that's still pretty quality finishing, I would think, huh? A 20? You know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see, 17, 16, Deli Ali, Sebastian Auger, 16 goals, Rob Hibbard. 11 goals, 15 assists, 13 for Ollie, 12 for Mecca. I, I think you had a you had a pretty good year there, pal. All right, well, there's your fine there's your final table. Huddersfield, Stoke, and Bournemouth get relegated. And Bristol City and Norwich are going up. I swear to God, this game is coded to where Leeds cannot get promoted unless it's a human owner. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, let's see. Playoff semifinals. All right, so you're going to have West Ham against, looks like Bolton and Fulham have to replay. Well, that's the first leg. All right, so they're going to have to play a second leg. Awesome, awesome. Let's get back to the mail. All right, Bozdag, man of the match. Pioli admits Cajun got the better on and off of the field. Curtain comes down on the Premier League. I am good there. Bozdag impresses two goals. You were superb in front of the goal. We get $43 million for seventh place, and we do qualify for Europa League. Woohoo! All right, squad bonus, we pay out 1.7. Johnson, we had a goal disallowed. Eh, it wasn't a controversy. He was off sides. Um, yeah, yeah, I think he was full of shit. All right, let's get to, um, let's get to the end of season stuff here. All right, so our initial payroll is 99. Our transfer budget is 124. Which the 124 is a big increase. 99 is where we were at. And I believe financial fair play, we are going to be allowed... Two hundred and twenty five million next year. Two twenty five. And yeah, I mean, we're 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 not even at a hunt. We're only at eighty five million. So we've got a long way to go to blow out John, FFP. John, come here, All right. That's good. All right. I want to get to the end of season awards. Come on. All right, here we go. Four players good enough to enter the best 11. Sobe, who I, I, I'm sorry he's gone, but, you know, he, he wanted to leave. All right, here we are. So Lane Kumpang, 34%. Bosdag, 28%. 
Dale Sinclair, 24%. Kunpang was the goal of the season. Bozdag was the signing of the season. Kunpang, young player of the season. Top goal scorer was Bozdag with 11, and he really brought the pain down the stretch. Highest average rating, Kunpang a 705. Uh, Danny Olmo, five assists. Strobel, 80% pass completion. Chukwuma and Kunpang, three player of the match each. Cool. All right, finished seventh. Beat Leicester 3 0, lost to Arsenal 4 0. We were 100% full at 26 688, full capacity. 33 players used, highest in the Premier League. That's how I roll. I usually use a big squad. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Discuss plans. Um, do we go? Do we tell them we're going to qualify for Europa next year? Or is that still aiming a little high? I think we're going to go top half. I think, I think demanding Europa when we qualified in the last match of the season might be a little much. So we're going to go top half again. All right, the board has me down at 86%. Pleased with the number of young players. Some of the fans are disappointed with Oscar Melindo. Yeah, whatever. All right, preseason date in five weeks. Uh, Stuart Coleman has signed a new deal for $2.68 million. He's our starting center back. We also, uh, Ling Kun Pang has, is also uh, under contract offer uh, and will get a nice raise. Here's a question, if anybody has made it to the end of this video, and this is something I don't understand. As an American sports fan, and looking at American sports, you typically do not sign a player to an extension until they're in, they're in the last year of their deal. And then they finish out their current deal for that season, and then the new contract picks up right at the end, moving forward. In football, in European football, you, you know, okay, these two guys, Coleman and Kumpang, had three years left on their current deals, but we sign them to a four-year and a five-year extension, respectively. Well, they get the, the pay raise. Basically, we tear up the existing contract, and the new contract is four and five years from today. So I, I don't get that. Um, why why do you why is there so much a rampant lean to give players new contracts two, three, four years before their current deal's even up? I don't get that. You know? Because I guarantee, because here's and here's the reason why. Let's say let's say Lionel Messi, okay? Arguably the greatest player in the world. I'm a, you know, I like him a lot. I'm a Ronaldo guy. That's just me. But, and I like Neymar a lot too, but his diving pisses me off. <laughs> just, that's another thing. The diving just aggravates me, again, as an American sports fan. Um, I think those ought to be automatic red cards and kick them out for three matches or something. You do that for a season and they'll quit doing that shit. Um, anyway, so using Messi. So let's say, well, no, let's use, let's use the guy that we've got here. All right, so Coleman. All right, Coleman's 23 years old. So he's got this deal. He is now signed for five more seasons through the end of the 2032 season. Let's say in three years he breaks a leg and he recovers, but he loses all his pace jumping ability, and he's half the player he is now. He's not going to give, he's not going to renegotiate a contract from 2.68 down to one and a half million. He's going to be like, hey boss, I've got a contract. Why don't we as a team go, hey buddy, we've got a contract. I don't get that. So if you understand that, break it down for me because I'm curious. 
Uh, just one of those things that I don't get. All right, the board, we've kept our category one. 11 and a half million to run the youth setup. Wow. All right, let's take a look at the squad before we head out of here. All right, so Kun Pang uh, got 11 goals. Glenn Craddock ended up with 11 goals while out on loan at Ipswich. Danny Olmo, nine goals. Chikwuma. Now, see, Chikwuma only ended up with seven. And he played in as many games as Bosdag did. He was injured. Bosdag didn't really start until later. That's not very good. That's not very good. He's got good finishing. He's got great touch and finish. His finishing is a little low, but he's got great for well, even his first touch is not good, but he he pulls the ball down. You know, they're they're pretty good. I kind of like both of those guys. I just don't know what to do to increase goal production. Um, so I'm going to have to sit down. Of course, we're going to be losing. Andy Vernon's leaving. Now, Vernon's contract expires. And I like him, but 21 matches. He's only 22. He doesn't play where I need him to play. That's his problem. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna let him go. He doesn't play any of the spots that I like him to play. Bobby Brady's developing. Anyway, we've got some thought processes to figure out. Any older guys we want to get rid of? I mean, my old. I have four guys that are thirty. That's nothing. Edson Alvarez. I may try to transfer him because he only played uh, I mean he's good he's good but with Coleman coming up that's where he's gotten hurt you know what I'm gonna offer him to other clubs we're gonna offer him he's valued at 17 I'm going to ask 23 plus uh, 30%. All right, well, we'll leave it at that. I'll dig through this in the off season as I work to, to next season. Let me know what you think. I think we did really good this year. Again, I don't know how long we're going to go. Uh, my goal is to kind of crack the top six to where we are in Europe all the time. I'd like to make Champions League once at least. Uh, but anyway, we'll take uh, we'll take it one step at a time. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for another season. Thanks for coming by, checking out the channel, the videos, you know, everything that you do. Uh, pound the like button, subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, you know, all of that helps me know that you like what I'm doing. Uh, lets me know what you want to keep seeing, what you don't want to keep seeing. Um, helps other people find the find the stuff and you know that's all i ask is that's that's how i ask for your help i don't ask for money or anything else just help me uh you know get the channel out there thanks so much guys have a great one and we'll talk to you later bye